Hi, my name is Nancy Barker. Welcome to AP Statistics. I am your child's AP Statistics teacher. So a little about me. I have been teaching at Cambridge since its opening in 2012. I am the math department chair and I'm teaching AP Stats this year. I have been married for 29 years to a wonderful husband and I have two adult children, both of whom graduated from Cambridge. And on August 31st of this year, I became a grandmother and I have a new baby grandson named Blaze. So why take AP Stats? Well, here are what some past students have said. If you are looking for a class with the most real world applications, this is the one for you. You know that old question about when do you ever use this in the real world? Well, we use this in the real world in AP Stats. Another student said it introduces a new, more practical approach to math that hasn't been taught in years past, and it's honestly really fun. I love that they think it's really fun. And every time I walk out of AP Stats, I feel like I've excelled in a new concept, and they really do excel in this class. I'm happy to report some stats on our AP Stats. Almost all of our students pass the AP exam, and we typically have an average exam score above a four. And that's really fantastic. So how will the class be organized? Well, we'll be meeting in live in our teams every morning. All class materials will be posted in OneNote. Summative assessments will be given on OneNote and they have already taken their first one. So everyone knows how to do it. Homework will be assigned and should be posted in OneNote daily and students should be checking their answers. That would be the expectation and making sure they understand how to do their work and what they might have done wrong. Weekly lesson plans can be found in Teams in the lesson plans channel and any last minute changes will be communicated through email. And here's a list of classroom expectations. Students must complete homework regularly. That is the single most important thing that students can do to prepare in this course. And it's real important that they engage fully and they persist in the learning. And one of the things that I see in AP statistics is that students will really learn a lot through making their mistakes. So in this course, we will embrace making mistakes so that we can learn and be successful. Students should also check the general channel and teams and their emails every day and a TI Inspire calculator is necessary for this course and it can be used on the AP exam. And here are some additional resources for this course. Students have already enrolled in AP Classroom that will be helpful for them in this course. Here is the textbook, The Practice of Statistics, and they can access it electronically or by hard copy. Our lessons are all recorded and can be found in the General's channel and I hold daily office hours from 3.20 to 3.50 unless I'm in a meeting. So how do you contact me? Well, here's my email address. So feel free to reach out to me anytime, but also encourage your child to reach out to me when they're having tr trouble or need help. I really encourage all students to advocate for themselves and to take charge of their own learning. I look forward to a great year and lots of success for your child.